I think I'm Big Meech A-Town. Listen, I got Demetrius Flinnery with me. How are you feeling? Are you excited? I'm so excited. This feeling is surreal right now. You know, this is my family. You know, I'm just so happy that everybody gets to finally see, you know, the first episode, even though we got a whole season to go. But this is needed for the culture. This show is needed, you know, and, and I finally get to show people what I'm about. You know, people probably just think I got the job just because who my dad is, but they don't know I had to earn it. And I put the work in and I'm showing you now. So yeah. I can't wait for everybody to see it and see everybody's reaction. I know they're going to love it. Absolutely. So what is it that you want people to take away from your family's legacy? I want people to take away the love, the loyalty, the brotherhood, and the soul that my family, my dad, and my uncle, they, they, they put throughout in the world. Like, it don't matter about no money, it don't matter about none of that. It matters about who you are as a person and how loyal you, how loyal you are to one another, your family, and what you'll do for your family. You know, they, my, my dad just wanted everybody to look good. You know, he was a product of his environment. You know, society wasn't, it wasn't like back then you can go get a good job and, and, and make good, and, and, and come home and pay the bills. Their parents were working two and three jobs a day and still couldn't afford to pay the bills. But what my dad and uncle did was much more than just sell drugs. They provided opportunities for people around the world. Like, look at me right now. I'm here today. This is all he ever wanted. Legitly, I can now give him, you know, put him in business when he come home and film business, you know, and, and make me, he can be a producer or a filmmaker one day. So now it's just, this is the American dream, you know. This is what my dad did everything he did for. Absolutely, absolutely. Well, congratulations. I'm happy to see you. I'm happy. Are you in the film, right? Yes. You are? Yes, I'm playing my dad. You, okay. I'm so Meech. Cool. Got you, cause I didn't, cause look, I saw Meech Jr. So I was like, are you playing yourself? Or are you playing your daddy? That's that's I was throwing off a little bit. So how does that feel to even just tap into your father's shoes? Cause I know at one point growing up, it, it, this world could have been confusing yeah, at one point, and now. Yeah, I didn't know who my dad was growing up. I, I didn't know I had a cool ass dad that used to take me on private jets everywhere and fast cars and all type of cool shit. You know, I didn't know who he was or what he did until I actually grew up. But um, yeah, you know, that's that's. That's really what it is, you know. I, I really prepare for this role by talking to him every day, like I've been doing, you know. So, so it's it, it just came together so well, you know. I put myself in his shoes, even though we live totally two different lifestyles. I had to put myself in his shoes and understand the obstacles he faced back then and the choices that he made to become, you know, a man all the way back then. It, it was crazy. Absolutely. So, how was that channeling your dad? Man, it it, it really it really was was like something I feel like I was made to do. Like, like me and him have the same mannerisms, but we aren't the same people, obviously. But, but, but we, you know, I, I, I really humanize everything and make everything authentic and, and, and real. So my, all of my emotion is real. My dad got taken away from me when I was seven years old. So that, all that emotion is real, I use. You know, so it, it, it's, it's nothing that, that people can look at and be like, oh, that's fake. Everything I try my hardest and I, and, and, and I brought from real emotion. Absolutely. Last thing for you. How did this come together, though? How did 50 ended up being an executive producer? How, like, how did this come together? And what was the moment that made you say, you know what, this is time for us to tell this story? 50 had the story for six years. I never intended on being an actor, never had the clue about it ever. 50 wanted to tell the story. 50 chose me to play my dad, seen it before I seen it, chose me to be an actor, put me in acting classes. I didn't even know I was going to be an actor. <laughs> 50 is the reason why I'm an actor. Absolutely. Well, you know what? I'm really excited to see the movie, and I really hope that everybody can take something away, especially to see your film, yes. see your legacy on film. I know that's amazing for you and your family, so congratulations to you and much success to you. You too.